Hello everybody and welcome to the update for week 11 and 12. Now as you notice this is once again a double vlog for both videos and pictures of the past two weeks. Now you might be wondering, well Liz, why didn't you do it last time? Well it's mainly because of the fact I wasn't really in the mood to do it last week. I was kind of lazy. I'm sorry. Uh, but that only means like that this video is going to be a little bit longer. I'm actually going to upload two videos this week. Um, I'm going to upload this one, hopefully before midnight, else after midnight. It's only 10. Um, and I have the video of me unboxing a package I had from home, which I completely forgot to edit in, in the vlog of week 10. So that video is basically exporting right now, and um, while I'm editing this video, I will be putting that one up on YouTube. So that's why you're gonna get two videos, and that's hopefully something that will make up for a little bit of my inactivity the past two weeks. Um, now, of course, there's some news in these videos. A couple of things happened. Um, I managed to break my phone in week 11, which was really smart. And, hope, and by now, I actually have my new phone, uh, my Samsung Galaxy S5. I used to have the S3, and in between, I had to use the iPhone 3. So, my vlogs became less consistent and that's why I have a little bit less video material and pictures. Um, I did have the past two weeks two field trips and I managed to make some pretty cool pictures uh, over there. I discovered when I was exporting everything uh, from my phone to the computer that one of my video files got corrupted and sadly that was actually one of my be better parts of the long walk I had last week. So I'm kind of bummed out about that, but I still managed to make a lot of pictures, and I still have some other video material, but uh, still a little bit sad about it. Um, as you might notice in this vlog, I am not going to be very consistent when it comes to the annotations. Uh, the thing is, the iPhone 3 doesn't really give you a timestamp of when everything was made. Well, my Samsung did, used to do that, so I knew exactly on which day the videos were made and the pictures. Now I have nothing. So, I will not have timestamps for everything. Uh, of course, so for the field trips, I know which day it happened, so I will be able to put some timestamps on there. But the rest will be a little bit empty. Um, as for further, I... I've just been a little bit busy, like especially the last couple of weeks. This week has been a little bit of a breather, um, but the last weeks before that, I had a lot of essays and deadlines I had to hand in. I managed to get some very good results from the last couple of essays I had handed in, so I'm very, very happy about that, and hopefully that's going to keep on going. For next week, I actually already have a new deadline, which is a four-page part of a research that I need to do, and the researches aren't my strong point. So I'm going to work hard on that, um, and most likely will be that just at home. I got a pretty interesting subject already, and hopefully I will be able to um, write some nice things about that. Um, now, this week, actually, some fun things that happened. Today I actually went swimming, which was nice. I haven't gone swimming in a while. And uh, it was actually very enjoyable. Uh, the weather was actually a little bit nippy. It was uh, plus seven degrees Celsius, uh, which is kind of like spring here. So I guess I can't really complain, but when you're in warm water uh, and like the rest of your face is out, it's pretty cold still. But I really enjoyed myself anyway, uh, even though it like started hailing for a little bit or raining. We're still in the warm water and we were swimming around and I was having a lot of fun with Johanna. And afterwards we went out for dinner. And, well, I had a pretty good time today. So, uh, last Friday was actually a very special day in general for the world. Uh, there was a solar eclipse. Now, of course, not everybody was able to see this. 
but uh, we had a pretty good view here in Iceland. Sadly, I couldn't take any pictures of this. Uh, I am actually slightly disappointed uh, because of this, but it's really uh, a wonderful, wonderful experience, and I am super glad to see it. Uh, it's not my first eclipse that I've seen in my life. Uh, when I was very young, about, I think you could say, six or seven, I've seen one when I was once on vacation with my family in Italy. And uh, that's also when I had, like, goofy glasses. I think I actually got them over here. Yes. Like, I had these goofy glasses with, it looks like, tin foil on it. And uh, basically, you can use these to, to look into sunlight, and your eyes won't get damaged or anything. Um, of course, what you can do uh, as a temporary solution is take a CD and look at the solar eclipse, but you will have a chance to damage your eyes. So be careful with that. But I was pretty excited to see it, and afterwards we picked up my phone, which actually uh, took a lot of effort. Uh, last Friday, uh, yeah, we, we, we got my phone and we had to go to customs because my phone is worth quite some money. Um, and there seems to be this law in Iceland that you're not allowed to, let's say, give a present that's more expensive than 90 euros. Well, my phone is not a 90 euros. So customs was like, hmm, something fishy is going on over here. So what happened was uh, Johanna got an email because it's uh, the... the Packages are always addressed to her. Uh, my mom bought the phone for me in Holland and then sent it through the mail to me. And Johanna got this message that we need to go to customs and get it checked out. So we go to customs and uh, go check it out. And when I was there, they told me they did not really believe me or us that my phone was a present. They thought we were just illegally smuggling my phone in here. So it took us about half an hour to actually get my phone through customs and uh, like halfway I almost had a mental breakdown. I was starting to get really irritated and angry because they thought I was lying but I wasn't. I wasn't lying because the thing is it's a, it's a present and my, my mom bought it for me and she paid for it and she sent it to me so like, I, I didn't buy this, and they didn't believe me. So I was called in by one of the officers of the customs and um, went into a separate room, like, it was kind of creepy, actually. And uh, this guy started asking me some questions and, like, looked me straight in the eye to see if I was telling the truth. And it was kind of weird. Like, we were just in the back room, and my, I saw my package was opened. Like, they opened up my package to see what's in there. And, of course, they saw the phone and the things that belonged with it. And uh, that guy started asking me questions like, are you from Holland? And how long are you going to stay here? And are you going to take the phone along? And did you pay for it? And, uh, all these type of questions. And uh, I was, of course, telling the truth. And I said, no, I didn't pay for it. My mom did. I bought it because I broke my other phone. Uh, I think, no, I have, did I mention that? Yeah, in week 10 I mentioned that. Um, I broke my phone and my mom bought this one for me and she sent it to me. And I'm going to take it home again when I'm uh, in uh, the 2nd of July. So the guy like looked me straight in the eyes and I was looking back and we, we, we had for a moment like this 40 second awkward staring contest. and. Uh, then he was like, all right, you can go way back in the, in the waiting area. And Johanna and I were basically freaking out in this moment, like, oh my god, what if it's not going to work out, you know? Like, that means I need to send back the package and I can get my phone. I, I won't have anything. And it already took, like, pretty long to get this thing here. Uh, so I was just getting anxious and irritated and, oh my god, this was stressful. Um, but later on, my, my package popped out of the, the back room on this uh, elevator belt, and uh, basically there was this collective sigh of relief. And then this lady called us over, and she was like, uh, yes, uh, Johanna and Liz, your uh, package is here, you can take it along, and you don't have to pay anything extra. Now, I was actually preparing myself to pay a little bit extra, like, I know what customs are, and I understand that they need to happen. 
But what they wanted me to pay was the difference of the 1350 kroner and the actual value of my phone, which is about 50,000. So they wanted me to pay about 40 something thousand kroner, which is almost like paying double for my phone. So of course I was saying no <laughs> and basically telling them they made a mistake because this was not supposed to happen. And I was told it wasn't going to cost more than 35, you know, 13,500 kroner extra if needed. And that's suddenly the difference between those two numbers. So that was a, quite a hassle. And it took us about like at least 30 minutes to finally get my phone. And afterwards, I was just like, oh, collective sigh of relief and irritation, shake it off. But that was, uh, that was a lot of work. So I finally got my phone and uh, I took that Friday and Saturday to uh, basically fix it up, uh, try figuring it out, put all the settings back and of course uh, get all my contacts from the computer and put them back on my phone. Uh, which luckily worked out so I didn't lose any of my data and um, I also managed to get most of the files uh, that I made beforehand. That's why I managed to still make week 10. but. Uh, yeah, just it it was a lot of a lot of work and it was all like past Friday and yesterday. So it's actually a weird idea that I only had this phone for three days and it already feels this natural. But it's uh I'm gonna be very careful with this thing because I gotta keep it for at least three years now. Uh until I get like a new deal uh, on a, a phone. And hopefully by then my phone is still working and we don't break it. Yes. So that was a little adventure on Friday. That was all on Friday. It was with the solar eclipse in the morning and we went to the post office. Then we went out for some lunch and then we get home and it was just like we were done. We were done for a while. So <laughs> that was that was quite a lot. But in the meanwhile, uh, I mean last weekend or last weekend. Last um, Monday and the Wednesday before that, I had like two wonderful, wonderful field trips. And tomorrow I have another one. Tomorrow I'll have a, a, another field trip and we're going to uh, another uh, volcano lane. And this time we're going to make a walk of about six hours. So we're going to leave at 1, uh, 1 p.m. Yes. And I'll most likely be back around 6 or 7. Um, the teacher told me that it's just going to be three smaller walks um, divided over all this time, so each walk is going to be about two hours. But last time we went hiking, uh, we were walking for about three hours and we barely had any breaks. So I was absolutely exhausted. My legs hurt, my feet hurt, everything sucked. I was tired. I was just very, very tired. And uh, afterwards, I had a wonderful dinner with uh, Ruben and Elisa, my Dutch friends. I stayed at their place, and we had dinner, and then watched a movie. So we were just hanging out, and it was actually a lot of fun. I really enjoyed myself. Uh, sadly, like as I told you before, I lost footage. It was footage with Ruben and Elisa in it. Uh, it would have been nice to actually show you guys a little bit of that, but it got corrupted. So it's just really, really sucky. Um, but yeah, I did manage to get very nice footage and pictures, even with uh, an older camera such as the iPhone 3. Um, like, if you notice suddenly the difference, and um, I can imagine that you're used to something after a while. Uh, I apologize for this. The last two days, like as for today and Saturday, I did use my phone, my new phone, so the quality will go up, hopefully. <laughs> um, because from the things that I've seen, uh, it looks actually really, really great. I am already super pleased, and I, as far as I understood, like the, the back camera is a uh, 16 megapixel, and the front camera is, I think, a 2 megapixel front camera. I'm not 100% certain on that, but it looks great absolutely great so um hopefully you'll enjoy the 
a quality difference. Uh, I hope also that the sound will be a bit better. Uh, I also managed to discover a, a new setting on the program that I use to record these vlogs in OBS. Um, I managed to get the volume louder, so I don't have to do that in my editing anymore. I can just find it out in here, which I didn't know after vlogging for such a long time. And it made me feel kind of stupid, but <laughs> at least I managed to fix it. So, yes. Without any further ado, because I've been rambling on for about 15 minutes already, uh, I will just give you the footage. I might just leave a couple of things out, just to keep it a bit shorter. I don't want to make a 40 minute vlog once again. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next video, because I'm not so sure anymore if I should promise weekly things. Sometimes I'm just so busy that I forget to make vlogs. So. I'll see you all in the next video, and uh, I wish you all a wonderful time. So, bye! And as you might notice, I am actually walking outside. And I'm very sorry if I'm not pointing the camera in the right way. Um, but I am using the iPhone that I borrowed, and I just wanted to show you the environment right now. Um, I'm just standing in freshly fallen snow, which is like super satisfying. Like I wanted to show you, like footsteps and just. Of course, there's a lot more over here. Um, yes, I'm walking in freshly fallen snow, which is like super satisfying to do. And uh, I want to give you guys just a little update. Um, and also, it's kind of testing out how this phone works and uh, if I can aim this properly at my face. Uh, I hope you guys are doing alright. I just finished off my, uh, my group assignment for my vampire course and uh, I'm now on my way home. And yeah, I'm gonna take a very, very satisfying nap because I am still super tired. A little bit more awake, but uh, yeah, uh, I could I could use a little bit of extra sleep. I have actually no clue where to watch or how to aim you guys, so hopefully it is going all right. But yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know how I am, and uh, see you next time. So. Hello everybody and welcome to Sunday of week 11. You will never guess where I am. I will give you a little hint. So right now we are in the William Museum in Reykjavik. And I have to say, it's really impressive. <clears throat> as far as I understand, everything that's hanging around here is uh, life-size. So it's really impressive to just like walk beside all these whales. Just like, look at this. It's huge. Humongous. Everything is life-size. It's just absolutely amazing. And I've never been here before, so for me it's uh, kind of like a field trip as well. And uh, we are here for uh, a birthday of one of uh, Johanna's nieces. And uh, I gotta say, this is a, a pretty cool place to go to. So I am walking a little bit further and let me show you.
tolls are of course like humongous right now for all those whales to just like hang around. But I have to say this is this is really cool. But yeah, I'm gonna make a lot of pictures today, so to make a little bit up for the rest of this week. But I really hope you guys will like it and uh, yeah, I'll see you all around. And uh, hopefully see you all next week. So bye! Hey guys, I thought it would be cool to, uh, to make a vlog. Uh, I'm not gonna really put my camera on my face right now, but we just went to a huge crater and uh, we're making our way back right now.